Hi everyone. I ain't got a lot of resin left, so I'm trying to find things that I've done before. Right. <clears throat> I've done this. Um, dragged a piece of paper over it, but then I don't know what to put on it. So, I'm going to paint it red, dry it, um, and then I'm going to use... People who've watched my channel will know that these are my little... was my little go-to's. Um, it's got to the stage now where the um, mould is hanging on to dear life with everything and it's gone dull. But I've made lots of little ones over the past and I'm just going to put some on here and sort of like design a little rose in a pot. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is I'll take you down. Okay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do that way so I don't paint them because they're the last things I want to paint. Okay, so all I've got is this. This came from the works. It says ready mixed paint, big colour co. Um, it's washing, oh, washing instructions. I think it's water base. Uh, not a hundred percent sure, but I think it is water based. So all I'm going to do is squirt a bit on and give it a paint over. And I will do this a couple of times. And that is basically all I'm going to do at the moment. Dry it. I'm going to cheat. I will cheat. I dry with my little air thing. Can't think what it's called now. Um, I've probably put too much paint on again. I quite often do that. <laughs> put too much paint on, it takes forever to dry. So I will probably take some off, put in a little pot for the, the second coat. But that's all I'm going to do. Paint it all over, just like this. And I'll be back once it's all ready for me to do the next part. See you soon. Right, I'm in no way an artist and this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me so all I'm going to do is I've got some E6000 if it's still good because it keeps blocking up for some reason <coughs> don't know why but it does shouldn't do because as soon as I use it I put the lid back on anyway let me try this I'm going to put some E6000 on the back and I'm just going to place my roses. This is just so they don't disappear and don't run around and things like that. I don't know how to place them so I'm just placing them so at the moment. So, it needs to be more that way possible, so I can go there, and a bit there, like that. Oh dear. Right, so much for me needing a poly stick. Loppy stick, lolly stick even. Poly stick. Ah, my cap doesn't work close properly. Got a duffy. Got sent a duffy duffy. Right, so I want them like that. Okay. Doesn't matter, it's, it dries clear. So what I want to do is I want a little flower pot down here and I'm going to do it yellow. These are just acrylic paints that I've put in these little pots. 
whether or not they're going to work, I don't know. They might not. Oh, they are. Might need a bigger pop than that. my pot size comes off the edge a little bit never mind never mind As I said I am no artist I am terrible for drawings Put this one in them here. Not sure if it's too much to say. Well, it is the same near enough, isn't it? Let's give it a quick blast across then. Very much the same. So, don't know why that is because they should be two different ones. We use the musty D1. Unless I was a Wally and filled up two pots without thinking.
what this is going to look like. Not very good by the looks of it. <laughs> I can't even draw a heart! <laughs> days wonder I wonder if I can take a bit off with combat <laughs> let's just try it with a cotton bud see if I can oh if you could see me I'm sitting there with my tongue out and everything better <laughs> that looks better right <laughs> Oh, people, what do you do for YouTube? Okay, let's keep that there. And then, um, I got my replacement gloves. This is a different red to this one. Oh, squirty. Please don't run out on me. Now, I've actually put some in. Paintbrush, quick, where's the paintbrush? See if I can uh, tie this any of it down. I can't even remember which way I put the bloody lid. Anyway, I can do it. Oh, we'll have to do eh. <laughs> some sort of heart. <laughs> Now, anybody know how to do a, um, the stems and leaves? <laughs> 
<laughs> so let's go from this one. Never straight eye. The one behind. Okay. Right. How do I do a leaf? A leaf it hurt. Should I not bother? Should I just leave it like that? Because it's got the leaves on the top. Fun because I don't really want it all over the roses, I want the roses as they are. So it's going to be fun, but I'll let that dry. I don't know what it looks like. What's it look like, people? Kids drawing? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> as I said, I'm no artist. <laughs> I might find something else I can put on here because I've got a feeling. I remember I've got some ladybird. No, they're um, stickers, not tattoos. Um, got a bumblebee. <laughs> no, I think that's it. I think I'll leave that as it is for the now. Let that dry, and then. Uh, see what it looks like once it's dry. If it looks a load of old then I will just dismantle it and do something else. So anyway I shall see you for the next step. See you soon. Bye! Right. I've decided I don't like that so I'm going to get some this stuff it's called Super Tack Glue for crafts and hobbies. Something's just fell in my cupboard. Um, I think I got, if I got this right, I got this from the range. It's a UK based place. Um, so I'm going to. Whoa! That ain't meant to happen. Right, okay, so I'm going to take that back out. That is not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to be that watery. <laughs> God. You always tell you're on my channel, can't you? Because nothing goes bleeding right. Right, leave that as it is. The it will dry. Oh, 
I want it. Shouldn't be. I didn't buy it that long ago. Oh, there's a lid. See what happens this time. Oh, bubbles. Bubbles. There it is. So I'm just going to pour some over. There you go, it's thicker now. Typical. Typical. Clear that up before I shove my arm in it. Right. So I'm just going to get my stick and spread it over. I know the paint's still a little bit wet, but that's fine. I just don't like the paint. I don't like my child, <laughs> my kiddie looking painting. Just does not look right for me. Okay, put that across there, down there. This is the same sort of stuff as the tacket you get over. I'm assuming like Australia, America and all this lot. Same sort of stuff. You put it on, you let it go tacky and then you can work with it. I just want to bring it all along here. So it's all covered. And as I said, it, it does dry clear, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Okay. And yet again, I'm going to cheat and dry it out quickly.
ones. Big ones. And I've got these little ones. Oh! Which I might just mix in with big ones. Okay. Probably put too much in there now, way too much. Never mind. some type but not too bad not to sit there and turn them all up the right way Chucking them on the floor as well.
I'm just going to shove them in. I don't know what's going to get caught and what isn't. Pick them up. so it makes it awkward for me to move the other way. that way once it's dried hopefully I can pick all these back up <laughs> don't want to lose all my diamantes uh, hopefully I'll be able to pick them up into a piece of paper and uh, the ones that should be stuck will stay stuck I hope I think that looks better than what it did. That silly one I drew. I'm just going around the edges picking up the dull monkeys, that's all. Right. Just don't want to lose any of them as such. That went somewhere, that pinged. <laughs> Anyway, I shall see you once this is all dried and I'll take you through my next step. See you soon. Voila. Okay, I've mixed up 40 mil of my resin, which is Epox, uh, Tea Expert. I love this one. It's got a 40 minute work time, it uh, resists yellowing, no flammables, self leveling, crystal clear, no VOCs or low and low order, odour, 
order odor <laughs> can't even read <laughs> so when i've mixed this up i used my respirator please 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 put a respirator on while you're doing it i take my respirator off because i i just haven't got the um expertise or the proper equipment in a sense to do the voiceovers my microphone's not very good so this is why i do it this way i'm just going to add some of this now this is malibu rainbow let's see if i can get any out anyone who knows what this is like you've got a ball bearing you hear it and it gets stuck So I'm just going to add a few drops. I don't know how many drops that was. I've lost count. And just mix it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle this over these roses. And then I don't want it all filled up, so hopefully it will sort of like um, pour out. The last thing I want is my roses to be filled up and not look like roses. The leaves, especially this one at the top, because it keeps coming off for some reason. Keeps um. The glue keeps coming unstuck on it. Don't know why. Okay, add in amongst the uh, yeah, bling bling. Can't think down on these. <laughs> My brain's gone a mush. I do apologise. So they get a good old covering. So and see most of this will get come out but it's just this white one because the way it's sat it's a bit up in the air okay over the stems probably could have done them a bit thicker too late now. Too late now, isn't it? Put some on that side. Put some on that side. At the top. I got these on pins. Um, to keep it off the ground um, I have admittedly forgot to take the underneath up so I'm hoping it ain't going to look too bad <laughs> excuse me as you can out now I have got a video on how I made these roses but I can't remember exactly which one it is so if you want to see how I've done the roses or the, the um, mould for the roses you'll have to have a hunt through because i can't remember for the life of me i don't even know if my videos are numbered i suppose they are it's 
making sure it's all getting to the edges and then we do the fun bit okay now the fun and the fun begins you get in there oops with your fingers because you've got to come over the edges Make sure you come over the edge properly and it's good and covered. If you do get dry spots and things, you can you can just like go over it again with another layer of resin. I might get a couple of a couple of dry spots, I'm not sure. I hope not. I do hope not, but there you go, you never know with resin. It's one of my best favourite bits about doing resin, getting your hands in there and getting mucky and sticky. go hopefully that will sit nicely should do oh I've lost my thing should I have did um, level it before I started but you never know with resin do you it's a funny old game when it comes to resin but I hope you enjoyed this and that basically will dry and that will be your finished bit in there just excuse these lights I've got some lights out for something different and I didn't use them and I didn't put them away I shall keep coming back and giving the sides a quick clean off I like that. I do like that. And once it's once it's dry, I will put a um, thingy on the back to hang it up. So it'll be it will be able to be hung. There you go. Right, well, thank you very much and uh, hope you enjoyed that. I um, don't know if you want me to video putting a hook on. I mean, there's nothing to it. You just put it on and screw it in. Done. So I think I'll forget that bit. But thank you very much for watching. As I said, if you want to know how the mould for these and how they make, I make them, just go on to one of the videos that I've got further I think there's only a couple of back, back um, ones called uh, blue, pretty blue rose. I think it's that on. I think it was this one I made. I think. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I've enjoyed doing it actually. It's uh, kept me occupied for a couple of hours. <laughs> anyway, see you soon. Oh, before I go, please give me a thumbs up. Um, that helps my channel to grow um, and then please subscribe and leave me a comment I promise I get back to comments I might just say thank you um, not very good at putting comments <laughs> but please subscribe thumbs up ring the notification bell that's the one I always forget then you know when I'm uploading okay Bye!